Hello, this is my first attempt at a build video, so I will try to make that very short and precise, uh, considering I'm really not much into editing and, and cutting. So um, let's just start. This uh, is a magic build, an Omnio magic build, using spears and light armor. And I kept myself at level 100, so this is pretty much only interesting to you if you actually want to cap your build. Uh, like you're used from Souls games or Bloodborne um, because here you have unlimited matchmaking in you so you don't have to do that but um, to me it just felt more convenient to do that um, let's look at the status points first um, I went with 25 buddy which um, hits the caps and um, not only it gives me more hit points, it also gives me damage for spear, which is my main weapon. I went with heart 25 to get more key and also for katanas as a backup. Then I put um, 5 points into stamina, that was more or less leftover points and also uh, to be able to uh, use A agility as you can see at the bottom, so the, the fastest and longest roll. Um, then we went with 7 points in skill, strength at base. Uh, the 7 points in skill are needed to unlock the, the passive bonuses of light armor, or the light armor I'm using, we will get to that soon. Dexterity is base because I'm not using ninjutsu. Magic is 40, um, the point there is that at 30 you um, get your max capacity for uh, for Omnium Magic, but you, s you still gain benefits from, from skill points or also from uh, magic damage, so I went there. And with Spirit I went 25 just to be able to use all the Guardian Spirits passives. I will link another video explaining the passives for Guardian Spirits. So, so much for the core stats. Let's look at the equipment. I went with a spear as my main weapon. Here it's really handy if you can manage to roll um, a, sp a weapon that has close combat life recovery. You also can get that for by grappling or by uh, finishing moves. I prefer close combat life recovery that gives you life on each defeated enemy in close combat. Then uh, the spear I'm using has lightning. Lightning status is really nice because it slows down enemies. I have break on strong attack and break in particular. More key damage in close combat and familiarity damage bonus which gives you more damage um, according to the familiarity your weapon has already reached. In my case that's max. Um, at the moment I'm just uh, leveling proficiency in weapons so uh, normally I'm using a single katana as a backup weapon. Um, I'm using the Omnio Mages, uh, Joe for uh, probably Joe. I have no idea. Probably <laughs> Japanese, obviously. Um, as equipment, so no full set. But uh, the nice thing is uh, here, it's it's light armor. It lets you keep a agility. It gives you casting speed up with a helmet. Then you have change defense to magic, which means you get more defense according to your, to your magic stat, which is really handy because uh, we are using a magic build. Then uh, with the chest piece and the gloves I rolled for unlimited on Mio, which gives you a chance on um, not using up your spell casts. Um, then we have again changed to defense magic with the waist and we have more running speed and on Mio magic power, <coughs> I'm sorry, for the, the legs. With uh, the accessories I also went with a change to defense magic and on my first piece unlimited Omnio. I'm trying to get that on a second accessory. I do have it but not with a change to defense. So um, yeah, I could switch that out. I farmed both pieces in the mission that is um, already uh, uh, on my on my channel it's uh, a request from Ginshio where you can also farm money I will link the video there um, but uh, it's more or less random it's just that I, that I farmed them there while farming money now oh sorry let's uh, go with the guardian spirit I went with Z Suzaku the one thing is not only that you um, when you have a full Amrita gauge, you um, actually 
do get into living weapon when you receive a fatal hit. So uh, you're pretty much immortal as long as your Amrita um, gauge is filled. And also it lets you keep um, living weapon longer, as you can see here. Increase the amount of Amrita you earn while using a living weapon. So um, that only goes for... Um, of course, uh, dual boss fights where you gain Amrita during the boss fight or um, when you just fight regular enemies and kill them. Um, yeah, that's just my setup here. With this prestige, uh, with the prestige points, I mostly took everything more or less evenly. I skipped completely on Ninjutsu power because I'm not using this on this build. I skipped on gold earned and I'm reader earned because it really seems like waste of prestige points because you can max out everything. And otherwise I still went with luck for rarer drops and more item drop rate because um, it really doesn't seem like, like it can hurt to get more divine drops in particular with uh, higher plus levels. At the moment I'm also sometimes getting drops from plus 4 and plus 3 and all my equipment is plus 5 and one piece is plus 6 at the moment. For the skills, I already told you I'm maining spear, so I went with the bas basic things like um, a living water and um, living water in all three stances, which applies to all weapons then. Um, the special moves depending on preference, of course. Uh, I love the... the high stance um, spear fall because uh, against in particular humanoid enemies it's really really good with the passives I went for no ricocheting of walls with thrust attacks that also applies to other weapons I went with the passive for dual swords reduces key usage of subsequent attacks after landing an attack with single swords more damage from behind. The alternative would be um, reduces key consumption when dodging, but as I don't have swords equipped very much, it doesn't seem wor worth it. So I can just swip uh, switch to a sword when I actually try to backstep an enemy. Um, I haven't unlocked one of the X passives, uh, passives yet. I read today that there seem to be some glitches. Um, I really have to look into that before I spend a point there. Kusarigama, the passives only apply to Kusarigama weapons, so no synergy effects, I skipped on that. With ninja passives I went with increased uh, damage dealt by long range weapons, which is always handy. Instantly perform ninjutsu is worthless on this build. And otherwise... Um, I wasted some points on sacred water, I'm not using that, but I increased the uh, carry rate for elixirs. And then we have the Onmyo Magic skills. I'm, I'm just going to show you via the equipment. We have the Pleiades Talisman, which increases the Amrita Gauge Multiplier, which is good for living weapon. I'm using a Wind Talisman because the one spear I'm using has fire, the other one has lightning, so I have another element to... to um, in inflict discord, or I think it's called confusion on enemies. And um, a Soul Stone to keep living weapon going. I will again link the video in the description that shows you how to farm soul stones really fast and effectively and which are uh, without much hassle. Then we have the rejuvenation talisman. That's regeneration for yourself. You could also go with the oasis talisman which is um, stationary and also works for companions but it's shorter and um, I don't know I haven't found much use yet for the Oasis Talisman Carnage. Reduces your defense but raises your um, close combat attack which is really nice. In particular with a Sloth Talisman when you slow down big enemies or bosses and then use Carnage in addition. And then we have Guardian Spirit Talisman also from the Omnio Tree that actually gives you um, the summon option for your Guardian Spirit. It's really not very impressive with Susaku. There are better ones, but like I said, having the the option of not dying when your Amrita gauge is filled is really nice. 
I guess that covers it pretty much. Like I said, the description will have the link to the Guardian Spirit uh, explanation in particular on passives. And it will also have the explanation on how to farm soul stones and the basic uh, tutorials that I already had on, for example, prestige points or prestige point farming. So in that case, thanks for watching. One last look at the stats. So you um, can leave with a basic idea of how the build could look like at level 100. And in that case, just let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will try to answer, uh, to answer them. Thanks and bye-bye.